Hello there, and welcome back to another installment of SCP Readings, with your reader here, Gmo Dawn. Today we're looking at SCP-021. There's a link down in the description for you to follow along as I read out loud. SCP-021 takes the form of a large and elaborate tattoo of a serpentine dragon in the oriental style, covering approximately 0.8 square meters of skin. This tattoo is fully animate within the confines of its host's skin, and behaves largely as a normal animal would, albeit in only two dimensions. The tattoo's movement causes constant pain to its host, comparable and similar in character to simultaneous tattooing and tattoo removal on a large scale. The organism tends to spend most of its time on and near the torso. SCP-021 displays no intelligence beyond a basic pattern of feeding and locomotion, although actually measuring the intelligence of a two-dimensional life form has proven impossible thus far. SCP-021 appears to feed exclusively on pigments in the host's skin. This can include melanin, and in which case the subject appears to be suffering from vitiligo. However, the organism shows a marked preference for other tattoos and will seek out and devour these before resorting to natural pigments. It should be noted that the feeding process itself, beyond the sensation of movement, is painless. Normal tattoo ink simply vanishes as it is eaten. The organism maintains a constant size and no excretions have been observed. The organism is capable of clearing over 0.6 square meters of skin per hour. One may feed SCP-021 by quickly tattooing fruits or small animals on the host. SCP-021 can be transferred between hosts by various forms of physical contact with differing rates of success. In the case of successful transfer, the organism simply swims from one person to the other. Sexual intercourse appears to be the most reliable method of transfer with a 93% rate of transmission. However, due to the severe pain involved, this is less than ideal. Contact between two open wounds is generally preferable. Transfer is more complicated in deceased subjects, though not unreasonably so. The organism suffers no ill effects from the death of its host and continues to consume pigments. Transmission between species is unknown. Previous tests suggest it to be either impossible or exceedingly rare. SCP-021 does confer some benefits to its host. The tattoo has been proven to accelerate the release and reuptake of epinephrine and decrease lactic acid buildup, providing boosts of strength, confidence, and pain tolerance in stressful situations and reducing the usual after effects of weakness and fatigue. In addition, the tattoo seems to have some beneficial effect on the host's immune system. Aggression profiles in hosts are generally higher than average, though whether this is a direct effect of the tattoo or simply a reaction Reaction to the constant pain remains to be seen. The symbiotic relationship is usually limited by how long the host can tolerate such pain in everyday life. This has culminated in suicide in a number of subjects. In rare cases, hosts have also fallen victim to fatal skin infections. SCP-021's origins and nature are a mystery. Tracing its transmission from host to host is hardly feasible within the confines of secrecy, and the organism could well be hundreds of years old, if not more. Nevertheless, SCP-021's captivity is one of the longest in the Foundation's history, at nearly data-expunged years, and has been very educational thus far. Current research focuses mainly on observing the characteristics of life in two dimensions. I really, really like this SCPs. I'm not that big a fan of tattoos. I don't currently have any right now. But I've always been fascinated by tattoo artists. They're amazing at their craft. And while many people will look down upon tattoos as being some sort of thug and really bad type influencing thing, I think they are just purely art for people who want art on their bodies. And how cool is this? It's an oriental style dragon tattoo that moves. It's alive. And while it's kind of bad that it eats your skin very basically and it causes a lot of pain to the owner, it's still such a very very cool thing. I am hugely fond of dragons. Any kind of dragons, European, Asian, oriental dragons are one of my favorite types of dragons. They're very very cool and I find this SCP to be very interesting. Not just because it's a dragon but because it's a dragon tattoo that moves. I really don't know how to emphasize it anymore that I think this is a really neat SCP. Although it is, it is a big shame that it causes pain to the host. And despite the benefits of being able to be stronger and not have as much fatigue, it doesn't necessarily sound like it would be worth it to me. 
Anyway, that has been SCP-021. Thank you for joining me on this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.